So this is a video how to get a uh, Spico multi-client on a PC. We're gonna send you a USB. You're gonna plug it in. It's gonna say multi-client. Double click. Go through all the processes to get it up on your laptop or PC. Next, next, next. It's gonna go ahead and give you a little picture icon. Looks something like that. Go ahead and double click. It's gonna say, you sure you wanna open? There's the multi-client. Now you need to add the site. So you go up there, it scroll a little thing that says add site gonna pop up a little population thing there. You're gonna go ahead and you can put any site name you want. Um, for this example, we're gonna use Cliff House. Now it's gonna ask you for your site address, which is gonna be the IP address. And we'll usually send that to you via email. Um, for security reasons, we're not gonna show that on this video, um, but your port would always be the same. It's usually always 5445. And then the ID would be your username and your password. Um, will be what we send you as well, uh, either in an email or a text message or another video. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video real quick. We're gonna put that information in and uh, we'll come back. All right, we are uh, got an icon on the top right-hand corner up there. Um, this You're gonna see that after you put your parameters in and you put your username and passwords. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up and you're gonna check that little box and you're gonna come down and connect right here. If you hover over the icons, it'll tell you what it's gonna do. Um, you're gonna go ahead and hit connect. You're gonna give it about five to 10 seconds here and it's gonna connect to that location. Um, all these factors and the speeds and, and how this system reacts depends on your computer speeds. Um, your internet speeds is a huge factor with a lot of this. Um, unfortunately, this place we're logging into right now is uh, has really slow speed, so um, it's really delayed. So. Um, so there's our cameras there. Um, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click on one of the cameras if you wanna see just one camera at a time. If it comes up small like that, you're just gonna right click on the screen and there's a little thing that says high quality and go ahead and just do selected channel and it'll go full screen here. So again, give it time, depending on your internet speeds, how fast this reacts um, and there's the full screen. Uh, if you wanna do playback, you're gonna to go to the top right hand corner there. There's a little search, a little magnifying glass that says search remote playback. Go ahead, click it. And you're gonna to wanna to connect to the site again, make sure you're connected. Um, click that little box again up in the site, go down here, it says connect and give it a couple seconds here. Again, your internet speeds and everything play a huge factor in how fast this comes um, rolling in. Um, we should be connected now. Um, you'll see it populate down here with the motion. You can go ahead and pick the day across the bottom here. Um, we're just gonna pick last Saturday. You see it was really busy that day. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pick camera one. And we're gonna go ahead and do an easy search. If you, again, you scroll over these things, it'll tell you what it's gonna do. Go ahead and do easy search. And it's gonna populate little thumbnails every hour. We gotta give it a few minutes here, or a few seconds, and why it populates. And this is how you're gonna do remote playback. You can see all the blue across the bottom is the, um, the motion it detected during the day. So you'll see on here that it has uh, the hours, nine, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you can search. Um, we're just going to click on one. Um, it can scroll up or down. We can double click. Again, it's going to update it. Now it's going to break it down into two minute increments. And we can click on one of those and uh, see people moving around. Okay. So once you got all your videos downloaded, just go ahead and click on whatever you're looking for there. We see a person moving here, so we'll just go ahead and click on that. 
and that video will load. And then down here at the bottom, you got your play, your rewind, your fast forward, all that fun stuff. And that's how you'll do remote playback. And then to disconnect from a system, you're just gonna go ahead and you can back out. Little X's everywhere, disconnect. And then you can disconnect from this location in the top right hand corner or the little icon that's down there by the connect button will also disconnect it um, for you too as well. So we'll go ahead and disconnect and we'll shut down the uh, software by hitting the X button and it is shut down. If you have any other questions regarding the Spico equipment or software, please give us a call. Again, this is Rick with Workman Communications. Our phone number is 916-880-6040. Thank you.